We want to continue to build our to-do app and we built already this application here in the last video. So it's only the UI. And in this video, we want to actually build the whole logic behind it so that we can add to-dos, that we can delete to-dos and that we also can edit to-dos. We want to start with adding a to-do to our list and this can then look like this. So we can add a title and then you can click on save. And if you add save, then it will be added to our list. Therefore, we go here to our add to do dialog file and within it, we had here this to do form widget where we have here this save button. And every time if we click on this button, then this will be executed. And now we want to actually put here our to do inside. Then we create here this method add to do. And we also want to put here around our column, around our dialog, a form widget. And here inside we set a key, a form key and we set it here to global key form state. And this is really useful to actually validate all of our fields. And in this case, we only want to validate the title that it is not empty. Because if you remember inside of our to do form widget, here we had our title inside and this title has this validator. And to check this validator, we need a form widget around our widget. And this is what we put then inside of our dialog. And then we can access this validator of our title. So let's go to our add to do method and let's validate that this title field is filled correctly. And therefore we call here this form key, which is exactly this global key here at the top. And then we get the current state and we call here validate and this validate method will then call actually this to do form. So it will call here all validators below in the widget tree. And here we make sure that the title is not empty. Otherwise we want to show here this error message. And if it is not valid, so if the title is not filled, then we want to return it here and then the user gets here an error message that he has to fill the title. Otherwise, if it is valid and he has put his title inside, then we can add the to do to our list. And what we do therefore is to create a new to do. And like you can remember, we have here the two fields, title and description. And these are exactly the title and description which we have typed here inside. And now we want to set here first of all an ID and then we want to put here this title and description inside. And next to it, we also want to put the created time when we created this to do and we actually set it to the current time. And now that we have created here this to do, we can go to our provider and we can add it to our list of to do's. And how we do this is by calling here first of all our provider and here we call our to do's provider and then we call here provider add to do and this is a method which we want to create right now and inside we put this to do which we have created here. And after we have created our to do we want also to hide this dialog again and therefore we call here navigator of context and pop this dialog from our route. Now let's go into the provider and create this add to do method. Therefore we go here down and create this method inside of our to do's provider. And here we get the to do and we want to add it simply to our list of to do's. So we want to add it to our to do list. And here we simply put the to do inside. And the last thing is also to notify the listeners. And this is how the provider works to update our UI. We every time need to call here this notify listeners. Otherwise, the UI will not be updated. All right, let's try this example out. So in the beginning, we have nothing filled and then we click on save and you see that we get here this error message. And this is exactly this error message which we have defined within our title widget here. And this is then checked by the validator. And here we get then this error message. Now we set here some text inside and then we click on save. And you should see that it is here appearing inside of our list. And we can also add here another one. So we can add a second one and we also can add here some description. So then it looks like this and we have here our description below. If you remember, we have also integrated in the last video this slider and here we can edit and also delete. And this is what we want to add with some functionality. Therefore, we go inside of our to do widget, which is exactly this widget here. And then we go here down and go to our delete, which is exactly this button here. If we click on it, 
then we execute this method. And here we want to create a new method, delete to do. And here inside of this method, we put the to do inside, which we currently tapped on. And now let's create this delete to do method. So we go here down. And here we create this delete to do method. And here inside, we first of all get our provider. And then we call on this provider, the remove to do method, which we want to create. And like last time, we put here simply our to do inside. And we also want to show here a snack bar that this was deleted so that the user gets some information about it. And therefore I call here this utils and I put this text deleted the task inside. All right, let's first of all create this utils file. And within this utils class, which I have created, you can set then the show snack bar method with the context and text. And then you call scaffold of context then we remove the current snack bar if there is any snack bar. And we also show the new snack bar. And inside of it, we put here this new snack bar inside. And here we put simply the text inside, which we have put here inside. All right, back in our to do widget, this should work right now. And the next thing is also to implement this remove to do method inside of our provider. So let's go to our provider. And here we add a new method remove to do. And inside of it, we call the to do's list. And last time we called add, and this time we call here remove, and then we remove our current to do from this list. And after it, we call again notify listeners to update our UI. All right, let's try it out. So we go here to one task, and then we click on delete. And you see the snack bar deleted the task, and the task was also deleted. And you can basically then delete yet all the task if you want. The next thing what we want to do is we want to change here the checkbox. And every time if you press here on one of these checkboxes, then it should go to the other list. So in this case, it goes then to the other list of completed. And if we do this on the completed list, then it should go here again to the to do list. To add this functionality, we go again to our to do widget. And here, if we scroll up, you see that we have the checkbox. And every time if we click on this, checkbox and this method will be called. And here we want to add our functionality. Like before, we get here first of all the provider of our to do's provider. And then we want to call here on the provider the method toggle to do status. And we put again our to do here inside. From this method, we will later return a Boolean flag, which is called is done. And this means only if it is done, then it is here inside of this completed list. And if it's not done, it's inside of the to do list so that we can actually toggle between all of these lists and have here actually the current state where our to do is going inside. And then we simply want to call here a snack bar to show the user some feedback. And therefore we call here again the context. And then we show here the message depending on the flag is done. So if it is done, then we show here the message task completed. And otherwise, if it's not done, we show here that it is incomplete. Let's create right now this toggle to do status method inside of our to do's provider. So let's go here inside. And here we create again this new method toggle to do status where our to do goes inside. And then we change here the is done field of our to do. So if you remember, we have here every time this is done field within our to do. And this is what we want to toggle. So we toggle it simply and then we call here notify listeners to update our UI. And the last thing is to actually return this is done state. So we simply return it here below. Now we want to add the functionality that we can click here between our two tabs. And therefore you can simply then go to the other list and then you see the other list if it is completed or if it's not completed. To add this functionality of our completed task, we go to the home page. And if you remember here, we have this container which we haven't implemented yet. And this is exactly this page here, which we need to implement right now. So let's put here our completed list widget inside, which we want to create right now. And this completed list widget is quite similar to the to-do list, which we have created before. And therefore you can simply copy here all the code, which we have created in the first video tutorial. And then you simply go to the completed list and paste it here inside. And here we need to do only some things. So we need to change our to do's because we want to display here other to do's only the to do's which are completed. 
And therefore we want to create here this to-dos completed within our to-dos provider. So we go here down to our to-dos, which we have created in the last video tutorial. And below it, we want to add the to-dos completed. So we add here actually this getter to-dos completed. Then we go over all of our to-dos and filter them. And we make sure that the to-do is done. And in the last time we checked here if it is not done. And this time we check here if it is done. And with this, we get our completed task, which we then display here within our to-do app on this tab here. Let's again go back to our completed list widget, which we have created right now. And here we get every time the completed task. And if the tasks are empty, we want to show here a different text. And therefore I put here this no completed task text inside. And now we can try out the functionality. So if we click here on one of these and say it is done, then we get here first of all the snack bar and we can go here to this completed list and you can see that it is here inside and we can do it with many tasks and then it is every time going here to the new list. And if you want to bring it back to the to-dos and want to make it incomplete, then you simply click here again and then it's going here back and here you see here it goes. And the main functionality we have basically defined here before with this is done toggle and then it will be toggled between this list and this list. Lastly, we want to look at the case that we also can edit a task and therefore you have here this edit button and if you click on it, then you go here to the next page and here you can basically change all the data. So you can change the title and the description you can save it and you can also delete the to-do here from this location. And by the way, if you want to get this whole source code of the project, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. To add this functionality that we go here inside, if we click on this edit button, we therefore go to our to-do widget again. And here inside, we go to the slidable widget to our edit button. And every time if we press on this button, then this method will be executed. Therefore, we create here a new method, add it to do, and we put again here our to do inside. Then we go here down and create this new method. And within this method, we want to call the navigator and then we want to push here a new route. And therefore, you call here this material page route and then we put here our new page inside, which we want to create right now. And within our edit to do page, we put here the to do inside, which we want to edit. And then we create here this new page edit to do. And here inside, we simply create two fields, the title and description. And these are basically the fields here, which we want to modify. So we want to change the title and the description. And by default, we want to put here the real title inside, which is currently inside. And also if we have a description, we want to put the description inside. And therefore we call here this init state method and inside we get from our to do the title and from our to do, we get also the description. And then we have here an initial value for our title and description. Then we want to build here within our build method, the scaffold, and we create an app bar. And within the body, we want to create our to do form widget. And this is what we have created in the last video tutorial. So if you remember, this is exactly this widget here with this input, with this input, and also with this save button. And now what we do is we simply go here again inside and put our title and description inside. And we also put here some on change handler inside for the title and for the description. And then we set here every time the title and description here at the top state so that we have it here always inside. And yeah, basically if you change then here this text, the title or the description in these fields, then it will be every time here updated to these both fields. And lastly, we also want to call here this on save to do. And this was the method if you create on the save button, then we can add here the functionality to it. And now we can try it out. So we click here on edit and it should then go to this edit page. And what we also want to add here is some space around like you can see. So we simply put here this padding around and then it looks already much better. And also on this screen, we want to make sure that the title is always filled. And therefore we go here to the top and create a new field, which is called global key form state. And then we wrap here our to do form widget within a form widget and put exactly this 
global key from state here inside. And now the user can type here all the information inside, so he can change the title and the description. And every time if we click here on the save button, then we want to actually save this information, what he has typed. So we call here a new method, save to do. And then we can call here this form key and get the current state and call validate. And this will then validate all the forms within our to-do form widget. And here we have only one thing, what we need to validate this title. And we simply call then this title and check that this is not empty. And if it is empty, we simply display here again this error message. Let's go again back to our edit to do page. And here inside, we then check if it is not valid. So if the title is empty, then we want to return it and don't save this. Otherwise, we want to actually save this and therefore we get again the provider. Then we call here on provider update to do. And here we put our to do inside, which we want to update. And then we put here the title and description inside, which we have updated. So we put here this changed title and description inside. And this method is what we create again later. But after it, we also want to call here navigator of pop context. And this will then go here back. And then we are again at the screen here. Let's go again to our provider and also create this method. So we go here again down. And here we create this update to do method where we get the to do and also the new title and the new description. And now we simply put inside of the to do the new title and we also put inside of the to do the new description and we also want to update our UI after it. All right, now we can try it out. So let's change this to do here and we simply change here something inside of the title and also inside of the description and then we click on save and you see that this is changed here and both works pretty good. Let's also create here this button so that we can delete our to do from this location. Therefore, we go again to our edit to do page, which is exactly this page here. And we go here up to our app bar. And here inside we call the actions so that we show here at the end an icon. And here we simply put an icon button inside with some icon of the delete. So this icon will be displayed there inside. And every time if we press on it, we first of all want to get here the provider. And after it, we want to call here this remove to do, which we have created before. And then we also want to pop this page so that we go here again to the previous screen. Let's try this out. So we go here and edit this one. And then we want to delete this by food. And you see that it is not inside of our lists anymore. The last thing what we want to change is that if you click here directly on this to do, then you should also go to the edit page. So you don't need to actually swipe here to the left side and click here on edit. You can also click here directly on this to do and then it should also go to the to do page. To edit this functionality, we go again to our to do widget and here inside we have here this build to do method which is then displaying this to do and we want to wrap it around with a gesture detector. So put here a gesture detector around and then every time if we click on this item, then we simply want to call the edit to do method, which we already have here inside. And that's all what we need. So let's click on one of these items and you see he will directly go to this edit to do page. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye.